Ahoy there! My name is Michael Speranza. I'm also known as Pirate Man. I'm a children's entertainer and circus performer and professional clown. My performances range from various things from juggling to fire spinning to glow and light shows uh, to clowning to workshops. So the, um, I guess the inspiration is just to kind of explore, to play, and most importantly to inspire others to do the same thing, to explore and play and find their own way the type of circus I do is, is mainly falls into the category of flow arts. So the idea that the prop doesn't stop, it's always moving, it's always in motion. Uh, everything that you do, it's always kind of displaying on a plane. So you can create really intricate patterns, really big patterns, but also making the prop still works really well. And being able to, I guess for me mainly, and for all circus performers, um, we try and tell stories through what we do. So it's not just about the tricks. You can really tell a story and inspire people and make people feel as they're watching your work. That's the most rewarding thing for any performer. I was a graphic designer and um, that's what I wanted to do after high school. I had my dreams set on making my own video games. That was like my be all and end all of my life. During high school and primary school, I did martial arts. I did nine years Taekwondo three years Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, one year kickboxing throughout my time of being a martial artist. Uh, and unfortunately that came to a stop when my club closed down while I was at university. Um, after I graduated university and was volunteering at a local magazine that was basically a youth magazine for youth by the youth, we made our own articles, our own publications, I did some of the graphics and I also mentored with some teenagers that were getting into the field. Um, I rediscovered circus. Well, I discovered circus because martial arts and circus are very separate entities, but I noticed that there were a lot of similarities as well. And I remember getting to around 2012 where my side career was doing this and my magazine career was doing this. And it got to this point here where if I wanted to succeed in one, the other had to be let go. And I made the really brave and sometimes irrational, decision to pursue the performance uh, side of things. It's what made me happy, it's what gave me a purpose, it's what really made me help connect with people. Since becoming a performer, I've always wanted to visit local uh, remote indigenous communities around, around Australia uh, to immerse myself in the culture, to learn about the culture of this wonderful land and to really um, yeah, be respectful. Um, so in 2018, I toured with a production company called Gascoigne in May. They essentially toured the Gascoigne region of Western Australia. Uh, they hire all kinds of circus performers, musicians, uh, photographers, videographers, other artists that work with these communities as well as working with each other to perform festivals, to run events, and mainly also to work with the communities that we visit. So we visited Coral Bay, Ningaloo, Burungara, yeah, just a real eye-opener to see different cultures, different ways of life, and to also see how the arts is interpreted in those places. Like I said before, there's a lot of sacrifices that you need to make, but there's also a lot of rewards and a lot of, a lot of great experiences. Um, that being said, be aware that there are going to be some sacrifices. Um, I guess the main thing for me is that this was never my dream. My dream was never to become a performer. It just kind of happened. It was a thing on the side. So have a backup plan. And most importantly, um, have that dream, but figure out how you're going to get there. Make those steps, even if it's small steps like, okay, by the end of the year, um, I want to have an ABM. Or by the end of the year, I want to learn a new circus trick. Or by the end of the year, I want to sort of make an make a online presence of my art form. Even if it's not making money, even if it's just making yourself present in the, in the community or in the industry, these little small steps will get you somewhere. It's important, like all pirates, to pinpoint and sort of plan out where you need to go.